So here's the finished product. This is what I've been working on today. It's a five gallon bucket evaporative cooling system. What I've done is I've drilled these holes, one and a half inch holes in the bucket all the way around. Uh, I left a gap here um, for the tubing and the wiring. You'll see that once I uh, open it up. Um, I have this piping on the top here to control the direction of the airflow. I'm gonna bolt it in with these pieces of plastic. I'm gonna screw those in and, and secure it, but I haven't done that yet because I wanna be able to take it apart and show you. Um, underneath there, what's moving the air is this four inch desktop fan that I found at Walmart for $10. I considered using a larger fan uh, and I may still, because they still have some room, but uh, it's it's putting out decent airflow, and like I said, it was only 10 bucks, so I'm gonna try that. If, if it doesn't uh, meet my needs, then I'll install the larger fan. Anyway, underneath there, there's the inner workings here. I've got two gallons of water in the bottom, and that two gallons of water is being drawn out by a 12 volt submersible pump that I found at Harbor Freight for $10. So the pump is pushing water up through this soaker hose that you can see coiled around the top here. As the water drips out of the soaker hose, it runs back down and it's saturating the cooler pads. Basically what's happening is, as the fan pulls air out of the bucket, air is drawn in through each of these holes. You can see they're all completely saturated. It draws air in through these holes, cooling them off like any other evaporative cooling system, pushing the cold air out. And then, like I said, I put the pipe on the top and I can turn it, make it face any direction I want. Um, I get more airflow without the pipe on top, um, but the pipe's there for uh, making sure I get it where I want it to go. Um, the You can see uh, right now the fan and the pump are both hooked up to 120 volts. Uh, but what's nice is the pump is already a 12 volt pump and the fan can be run on 12 volts. So eventually I'll be converting this uh, over to solar panel. Uh, that way I don't have to have a dedicated power source for it and it'll truly be portable. We could take it camping, we can use it to cool off our chickens and our chicken coop, whatever we need. Um, you can see the water level right here, this dark line, it's the water level. This is exactly two gallons of water to this level here, which is nice uh, because it's it's currently uh, going through about a quart an hour. Um, so this is eight hours or a full day's worth of water right here, um, which is exactly what we need. And that's what I've been building. Uh, five gallon bucket evaporative cooling system. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me or if you're feeling brave, you can post them in the comments uh, for other people to, to answer for you. And that's it. Thank you.